What's up guys, we're back with a video a lot of you have been asking for, a Bronco update. Uh, unfortunately not a crazy ton has happened, but there has been some cool things happening and I'm just stoked to see the progress on it. We've all been super busy, so Hope you guys enjoy it. But before I do that, I wanted to hop into our giveaway this week. This week, we are giving away another $100 Amazon gift card. And if you wanna see if you won that Amazon gift card from last week's giveaway, go all the way to the end of the video, but I'd recommend just waiting, watching through, and see if you won, because this Bronco's pretty rad, so the content is pretty cool. But this week, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button while you're there. Turn on post notifications. Once you've done that, it's gonna be super simple. Go in the comments below and comment what you would buy with the $100 Amazon gift card I'm gonna give you. Next week, there's Prime Day, and so there's gonna be great deals, so I wanna know what you're gonna buy with that gift card. Preferably, you know, something cool. I mean, I mean, a toothbrush is cool, but I mean, like race car parts or something, it's way cooler in my opinion. But while you're dropping that comment below, make sure you put your Instagram handle or your Facebook handle. I wanna be able to contact you quick so you can use it on Prime Day. It's really hard to contact people via YouTube, so if you have that Instagram handle or social media handle that I can just message you real quick, hey, you won, here's the gift card, boom, that's it. So, now let's get into the build. All right, so. I like to start in the front, and you just got a beautiful shot of some black steel, it, and that's one of the biggest things that we did change up here. Last time, um, I kind of give you a build breakdown. All of this was still rusty, greasy, dirty. We had literally just pulled the motor out and kind of just left it. So, what we've been doing, we went through and sanded and wire brushed pretty much the whole undercarriage, the whole chassis, and we've been coating it with steel, it, the steel it black. Um, this stuff, super rad, super easy, and I love the way it's turning out. So, I mean, look at this stuff. It is, it just looks really good. It's got a nice finish to it, um, but this whole engine bay is really kind of coming together. It looks beautiful. Um, we've gone through, kind of serviced everything. Um, got that handy dandy windshield wiper fluid, all up to date. Got an all new brake cylinder, master cylinder right there. And we kind of just cleaned it all up, you know, made it look really nice. Like I said, on this build, our goal is we're going to keep it kind of on the outside. It's going to look pretty rough. We got that, you know, the original paint still. But interior wise and inside, like the motor compartment underneath, um, we want it to be pretty much perfect. So that's why we've been doing all this kind of just tedious work. I mean, you can see we've pretty much painted everything just perfect redoing um, you can even get under here and just see some of the details that we are going through okay slide under here so we're down here um, actually under the Bronco right now and you can just see everything is this we're going through we want it to be perfect um, lots of little just wire brushing um, sanding but it's starting to look so good and with that steel, it, it's gonna be well protected for years. And what is so rad, if we change anything or when we're mounting the motor or mounting the transmission, cause it's kinda, obviously we're putting some big stuff in. Um, and if we have to move the transfer case, the tranny, obviously the motor's gonna have to move. We can just touch it up really easily, weld directly through this stuff. So that's why I love steel it, cause it's great for project cars like this because it, we're protecting our investment right now, you know? Cause we haven't been working on it in a little, so it's not sitting here rusting though, not collecting, you know, not getting that. It's got something protecting it, but when I do want to work on it, it's no hassle. I can literally just start welding through it. So that's pretty rad, but we can start moving up top more. But I mean, look at this thing. It's all just pristine. Another thing that is pretty pristine is this new merch. Um, just got this stuff in today, actually. It is a pocket tee. It's all up on our website. We got a bunch of new merch. Appreciate it if you go check it out. It actually turned out pretty cool. I'm loving this pocket tee. 
And we got these new beanies. I don't have one on though right now. That is so rad. So go check that out right now. I dropped the link in my bio or it's on my website, www.christopherbavorti.com. All right, so gone for that, all that pristine to now we're back with the old patina look on the outside, which I love. It's gonna kind of throw people off because it's the truck's gonna look so rough on the outside, but I love the way it looks. But then once they start looking into it, it's gonna be like, dang, this thing's actually really clean. And so now let's keep moving back. In addition to what you guys haven't seen yet, we have the shell on, we got it all repaired. So this thing does look pretty nice. Um, I don't know, we might have to like roughen it up a little or something so it kind of matches, but we want to make sure this was all fixed, all the fiberglass and it was sealed off nice. Uh, put all new windows in, new window seals. Um, this so it has like that perfect, you know, we want it to be a perfect truck besides some of this. Um, I will say we did end up making one mistake, which I'm a little bummed about, but we're gonna fix it, we're gonna figure out a way, and that is with our tailgate. We took our tailgate off to get a body repair and unfortunately when it was at the body repair shop they thought we wanted to repaint it so they they sandblasted it and so now we got to figure out something. If you guys have any ideas of how we can make this match this and all that let me know because we're kind of struggling. We don't know if we should just have someone like hand paint it patina or should we just do like a matte black or something. So that's kind of a future problem for us, but we're slowly thinking about it. Uh, moving around, we did get an all new back window for this thing, which was extremely difficult. Uh, Cause it's, I mean, these little trucks, they're hard to find certain parts sometimes. And that back window was one, they kept sending us the wrong one. And we're like, no, this is not the right one. Um, yeah, so moving around, we will now hop inside. Oh, and we did get our headers. Look at these things, pretty rad. <laughs> these things are, I love headers, the way they look so clean. So it's gonna look really good on our big motor that we're dropping in this girl. If you guys don't know about this Bronco and you've made it this far, click, click the link right here. Um, and go check out some of our other Bronco builds, like when we originally got it, kind of the plan with what we are building but uh yeah go check that out because it'll give you a little more background but moving inside last time we did not have all the door panels and everything in so door panels are starting to look really good everything's coming together on the inside pretty much um let me i forgot to, let me clear these off so watch this watch ready boom there we go so all nice and clean now, um, but like last time, the bench seat did turn out just so amazing. Love the way it looks, but we can hop in here. Unfortunately, we have not um, installed our kicker head unit yet. That is pretty much the last thing we really have to do interior-wise, because um, it's pretty much done. All we gotta do is we're gonna build a kind of little, um, little mount right here that that was gonna mount in super clean we're gonna try to make it look classic but we did want that awesome kicker technology so this thing can bump um, moving over here we did finish the dash it is all original um, honestly turned out so rad it is like we went through and it literally they went through, oh, let me see if I, so they went through and literally went through every single little piece of this thing, took it down to nothing and replaced every arm and a little bit. Um, I think it turned out pretty rad. Cause I don't know, something about the old dashes in these things, I love, like in my F100, that was one of my goals. Um, I really wanted to keep the cluster gauge unfortunately it just didn't work out because we went like all motec and everything <laughs> got a little overboard so we didn't but i still like kept like the dash shape and everything to try to keep that classic look because honestly the, the interior of like the old tr trucks is one of my favorite things about them 
Like, I just think it, when you're driving it and it's got, like, all original stuff, or close to all original, it's just, like, a good vibe. Um, if you guys relate to that, like, if you guys have an old truck or something and you're like, I have to keep the old dash, like, comment below what you think, like, but if not, like, say, say you like a new interior, comment below why you like that, so, I want to hear it, I want to hear it, because that's just my opinion, like, I really want to get, like, this old thermostat working, so you, we can just run the AC on, the, on this thing, so, uh, that's kind of a goal, like, wire everything in, so it is original, but. All right, so pretty much inside, we just finished some more trim things. You know, everything is all detailed up. Um, all the trim in the back, the back seat is all done up, all done in the back. So, I mean, overall, not a ton has changed, but it's just been kind of a lot of tedious, just little work. So hopefully you guys understand, but I did just want to get an update for you guys. And the motor, we're planning on putting the motor in any time now. Um, we did get the tranny. We were kind of waiting for the tranny and the transfer case to come back from getting rebuilt. Um, so we sent those off. They did get rebuilt. They said the transmission, or they said the transfer case looked almost perfect. So that's pretty, it's always good to hear, you know, when you buy a truck or something, you never know what's inside. So to hear that it came back almost perfect. So this thing was obviously well kept and, uh, the guy didn't romp on it too much. Like, obviously, I didn't own it before because I'm pretty hard on equipment. If you, if you guys haven't noticed, but that's that's just how I am. I like to use my equipment, and I mean, <laughs> I put the equipment that I use through the paces. So hopefully, the Bronco can hold up. I know, like last time we talked about, in uh, <laughs> are we taking it to Hoonigan? Well, I mean, that's the plan, and we're gonna build it so it can handle it. But I don't know. Should I actually take it to Hoonigan? Cause might be a little rough but um if you guys want to see anything else that i did miss on this or like here one more little thing like we've like all the window seals door seals all that stuff has been replaced it is all perfect um i just want to show you guys that because that's kind of like the detail work that we've been doing and obviously it doesn't just jump out of you like wow there's a transmission in it or something or Dang, the motor's in it. Um, obviously, that's not kind of what happened, but you can see we've made some progress and we have a lot of stuff getting ready. It's almost ready. So once we get that motor in, uh, we have all the suspension parts kind of laid out and we'll be able to kind of just go for assembly. We're obviously gonna have to make a lot of changes because this motor is not meant for it. Um, she's a little bigger. All right, if you made it this far, well, first off, thanks. Um, that means you're a true subscriber, and I appreciate that, so thumbs up to you. But now it's time to pick our giveaway winner. I'm gonna cut in right now. All right, guys, it's time to pick the winner of the $100 Amazon gift card. Um, uh, well, let's do it. Okay, so we're here at my kitchen table, and we got last week's video. We're gonna scroll, you can see here are all the comments. Thank you to everyone who did enter. Super makes it worth it. We're gonna copy the link right here and then there's this awesome app called YouTube Comment Picker. So we're gonna drop our URL right there from the video, filter duplicate users. Um, we're gonna filter the comments based on specific text. Done, which was what you guys had to do. Let's get YouTube comments, let's see. Start raffle and pick random winter. So we got it. Okay, let's see who we got. Blair P. All right. Boom. That's it. Blair P. Congrats, dude. Um, I thank you to everyone who did enter. It means a lot. I'm trying hard to make this thing grow. So spread the word that we're doing giveaways. We're literally giving away money, cool prizes. Um, I'm working on getting some really cool prizes for the end of the month. So, that's it. Back to the real show. Okay, so congrats to whoever just won. But I just wanna thank you guys for watching this far in the video. Next week we have some rad content coming. 
going to the UTV World Championships, gonna be giving you the full behind the scenes. My buddy Bryce is racing, so I'm super excited to be on his side of the pits, help him out a ton, and I think it's just gonna be an overall good time. It's a super rad event that I'm stoked that I'm gonna be at. So, you know the deal. Hit that subscribe button right there. Do that, turn on your post notifications, drop a comment below what you thought and what you're thinking for next week, and enter to win our giveaway. It's literally a free hundred dollars. On that note, I'll see you next week. Have fun. Ball.